In this final section, we'll talk about how we can use linked queries to filter data. Very, very simple process and very powerful because the data is actually filtered at the database level. It doesn't actually query the database, grab all the employees of time cards and then filter it. The query will actually run in the database, which is very efficient. So let's see how we can filter data with our link query. Link provides a great way to query data in a database and then fill our objects without having to write a lot of code. In the previous section, I showed how we can use Link to not only get our data, but we can also sort it, and we could do aggregates, and I even showed how we could do lambda expressions. Well, one of the things you'll also do quite often is you need to filter the data that comes from the database, but typically we want to do that in the database. I mean, that's what the database is good at and very fast at. So let's say as an example that we want to be able to go grab time cards based upon the submission date. So maybe we want to grab uh, time cards from last week, let's say maybe Fridays or when we submit those. So to do that, we can come in and say we want to return a list of time card. And we'll say get time cards by date. And then this will pass in a date time object and we'll have, we'll call it a submission date. All right, so we'll go in, and now what we're going to do is very similar to what you see up here. We'll do a query, but this time instead of just an order by, we're going to add a WHERE clause to do a filter. So we'll simply return, and I'm going to say from time card in our DB context time cards collection, where the time card submission date equals our submission date that was passed in, select all those time cards. And then we'll simply convert all those to a list. That means execute the query right now and return it back. Now what this will do is I've already mentioned a couple times is it actually generates the SQL and it embeds the WHERE clause in the SQL that is actually generated and run at the database. So very, very efficient from that standpoint. Now if you wanted to filter based on other things, uh, let's go grab all the ones from a certain date where it equals that date and where maybe the time card Monday hours is greater than 10. We want to see everybody that had overtime or something like that. Then you can do that as well. You can do ORs. So all that's available when we're doing our filtering. And then I can even come in and then sort based on a particular field if I'd like. Uh, as an example, we could say order by uh, maybe the ID of the time card. And so what that'll do is we'll go in, we'll get all the time cards, it'll be by a specific date though, and then we'll go ahead and return those time cards out. Uh, very, very easy to work with and something that's really nice to work with when we want to filter in that type of a manner. So that's an example of how we can do a filter expression with our link. So to wrap up, let's go ahead and add one more filter method, and then we're going to wire that up to a web page and see it in action. So. I'm going to come in and add one more that gets employee time card. So we'll pass in an employee ID, we'll do a WHERE clause very similar to what we had here, and then we'll kind of go from there and work with it. So moving in, we'll say return list of time card again, and we'll call this get employee time cards, and we'll pass in the ID of the employee. Okay, so we're going to do another link expression, and then with that we'll do a WHERE clause very similar to what we did up here. And so we'll come in and say return from each employee in context employees where the employee ID equals the ID that's passed in here as a parameter. Let's go ahead and select that employee's time cards. Now if we just do that you'll see that we're going to get an error on the select. It says it can't in implicitly convert this thing called an iQueryable to the list that we want to do. So right now it's an iQueryable of list of time card. So the way we can uh, just get the list out of it is we can say single or default. And that basically says, hey, grab the first collection that you have inside of the iQueryable, so we only have one, which is all the employee's time cards, and return it back out. Now what single or default also does though is it'll return the single object, and if it doesn't have one, instead of airing out, it'll return null. So you just get a null there that would be hooked up and returned. So if I go to default ASPX, what I have here is just a pretty simple example of the two grid views, two object data sources, the first object data source, 
you'll see here points to our repository and it is uh, bound to the get employees that was shown earlier and then the second one this grid a little more custom I actually went into this one and did edit columns and I added the columns that I wanted here and to do that you simply hit bound column and hit add then you can simply name the header of the column and I bound that to an object data source but it goes to the repository and binds to get employee time cards now of course that takes an ID we're gonna grab that ID from the top grid over here and then we'll pass that in to this particular method and that's kinda how this one works so when we run it now it's gonna use our DB context of code first to execute the query that gets all the employees that orders them by last name so let's go ahead and right now they're both Doe I believe so you won't see much there but we have Jane and John and then when you click you can come in and see their time cards so now this will pass the ID in uh, to the new method that we just made into our repository class and then call get employee time cards we then query using our DB context we get back our list of time card that's ultimately what's bound down here so as I click on these you'll see the data changes and we can see the different hours for the two different people so that's a wrap up on this module on how to use entity framework and code first as well as how we can use language integrated query